second episode of the day and on this particular episode we are talking about charles coming back to defending bushir now this particular subject has been talked about it's been said enough has been said about this to a point where you start asking questions about why does he sound like this and why does he say what he's saying the way he's saying it? Strict reality show with the daily Christian commentary videos. Other episodes that are done today, they'll be done in the pre comments. We are still on the 100 video challenge. And on this particular one, as I've told you, for those that do not know who Charles is, let me get situated a little bit here. Charles is a former Bushiri Amen. You know, like one of those guys that used to arrange things, arrange this, arrange that. So they were the ones that used to do the runarounds and all that kind of chairs. Now, during that entire period, there was a time when Charles left ECG and he went to, to what's his name, Charis, and he said he had an exposure and whatnot. There was a whole noise around Charles. Now, Charles has come back now after the ruling that the Malawi court, High Court, did to say the witness must be there or there is no thing. Now, on the previous episode, we mentioned uh, this whole thing of trying to get witnesses over there. You do that during the trial. Right now, it's just a matter of determining that there is such a trial. You don't need the people to be cross-examined and to be made foolish and whatnot and all that kind of stuff. That's not the thing. You do that in trial. People, have, uh, people that understand this law system have explained this. I'm literally just echoing what they have said before. So it's not necessary. So for, for Charles to come saying that good on the Malawi government for doing this, he's dismissing the case, right? Okay, fine. Now, what is his particular storyline around dismissing this entire case? He says he was involved in the bribing of girls and whatnot. But Charles is forgetting a very fundamental aspect of Bushiri running away. It was the money laundering case. Yeah, it's not girls. It's not just girls thing. The girls story or the girls cases, guess what? A lot of some of these cases actually came after Bushiri had ran away. Right? Yeah, to, 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 it kind of gave some of these women a backbone to come back and say, you know what? There was something. Now, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm not here to talk about those cases which were opened and Charles' statements about that. Only he knows that. I don't know if he's been truthful. Charles has really lost a lot of credibility amongst church people and so forth. But there's something I want to note. There is the 100 million case. Was that also fabricated? Because Charles' entire defense of this entire thing is that it's all a cook. It was all cooked up. The whole nine kajas was just to get money out of Bushiri. You know, Bushiri is the main man. He makes the money. So they were trying to get money out of him. Fine. But this is criminal activity. 100 million entire kajas, it's a criminal issue. It's not some random girls bribed. It's people who have lost money. We saw receipts when... The other gentleman got involved. We saw receipts, money deposited towards this thing. And that was not the only thing. We knew that Mandem had weird man business dealings because remember, there's the whole sparkling water investment funding of over 300 million that he had gotten from an investment firm that lost hundreds of millions. So what about that? Was that, did you also call those ones? to come and bash and speak evil of him? Was the Hawks involved in getting a company that has hundreds of millions invested in their company, which they invested in? Was that also, did you pay them as well? Because that's not the only thing. This is why I say, when we were talking previously, I said, be careful, don't just agree with a person because you like them. There are certain subjects where you have to acknowledge right, wrong. Where is the right? Where is the wrong? Once you lose that, you've become a charlatan as well. Now I will say that again. If this entire thing of trying to get Bushiri back in South Africa was just about those girls' cases and 
the cases where they are saying that he forced himself on them and whatnot. If that was just about it, maybe you could kind of like, you know what? Maybe there's true to it. Maybe they were paid. Maybe. You could kind of shrug it off and say, after all, Charles was there. Charles probably knows. But now there is the subject about the money laundering. And that was the thing that kind of got Bushiri in trouble. Not these other ones. These other ones came after thinking. Right? And so that there isn't witnesses on the... Like right now, the ENCA guys, when they did the interview, the recent interviews, when they were now requested to go back, uh, to go to Malawi, the people that were speaking there was those the, the first victims? No, it was the people that are owed monies. So when he says, oh yeah, all these things came from thingy. Wait, are you saying that that didn't happen? Recently, we recently spoke about a story where monies were... When he says all these things, all these things, they all started from thingy. He's dismissing those cases that he probably knows nothing about. And because people know him and they don't know the rest of the stories or they are not interested by now, it's been two years. Sometimes over time, people forget. It's only when channels like mine reflect back and say, this is what was at stake. It wasn't just those cases. It was what, six of them? If I can remember back with one of them being very, very young. It wasn't just that. It was also a subject about money laundering. When they took the jet thingy, what was that about? Was that about the rape, about the, the girls? No. Did you bribe them to take the jet? No. That was a subject about money laundering. They want the victims of that. Yes, they can talk about the people that have forced themselves and they can focus in on that one because, yes, they can bring up the subject about the girls and they will really hone in on that one because that, we've seen a lot of false cases come up and stuff like that. So they know people are very biased about that subject. But the money laundering issue was the reason why he ran. Focus on that one. So when you say, oh no, all of these things, do you mean that one as well? Do you mean that one? Do you think a person who has who is a witness or has evidence of that case would go over there? No, this is not the girls. No, 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 no. Well, we're not just talking about the girls. We're talking about the money laundering thing. If there is evidence and the person who has the evidence for that is to go there, do you think they'll come back? Really? The journalist that went over there years ago when there was no case? that he was running away from, she got to the airport already, she was kicked out. Don't play jokes with mandems. Don't play jokes with stories like that. Do not blur the lines. When it comes to right and wrong, right, wrong, right, wrong, be very distinct, be very clear. No, he says all of them. They all came when thinking. You can watch the video on AMT7's YouTube channel. He says all of them, they all came up after being right. Is it also the money laundering one? Do you, do you, if you were the one who had evidence of, of the money laundering, would you go there? Would you? You think he would, the person who did that would survive that? So think, think about it. We'll wait. Sterek Shuarit show the daily Christian commentary videos. He's losing further more credibility. <laughs> There's nothing that Charles, one day Charles would just open his mouth and says, hi, how are you? And nobody would believe him <laughs> that he's actually greedy. This is not just the girls. The issue that got Bushiri running was the money laundering. Talk about that one. Yeah, no, that's the one we know. Right? The, uh, the ones of the girls, they came after. So when you say, Oh, no, there wasn't any hundred million thingy. Uh, when you say, oh, no, all these things started from there. Who was bribed for the hundred million? And how do you even open a case like that when there's no evidence of anything? Where's the line with Charles? There's, like I stated, there's coming a time when Charles will ask you, how are you? And you won't believe him. Yes, if he knows about the girl's paid girls and whatnot, if he knows about that, 
you must remember that there is the 100 million. There is the money laundering. There is the, the, the sparkly water thing was just an example that man them was doji man business. The sparkly business. Was that fake? Did you pay them also? They're talking about 100 million, millions and millions. Did, was that also fake? You must explain the whole thing. Don't brush around the subject and say, no, there was no. Very strange man type of things. But Charles, there's coming a time when Charles will ask you, how are you? <laughs> and you have to doubt whether you're listening to Charles or thingy. What's his defense? Yes, you know the girl's thingy. But do you know about the 100 million case? Does that one, who was bribed in that case? What evidence do, does someone around that particular case go to court without evidence of? And if you were the witness, would you go? With such a case, would you go there to be cross-examined, to be asked, uh, is this true? Just to go and say, is it true? Strictuality, sure.